two and two count to Pete Rose. We're just underway. There's his hesitation pitch. That's his hesitation. <laughs> Look at Pete. <laughs> Pete says, what is that? What was that? <laughs> Throw me another one. <laughs> he borrowed that a, a page out of Satchel Page's book. <laughs> Three and two. <laughs> and Rose hammers a fastball foul in the seat. Well, this is what Rose likes to do, uh, stay alive and wait for his pitch. Tion did not win 20 games for the first time in three seasons, uh, Kurt. However, in the month of September, once his back problems were solved, he was as good as old. Rose hit a fastball off young Candelera down there in game three of the National League for a home run. He's a great fastball hitter. There's another foul. Rose will do the hang in there tough on you. He's a tough out. He gets a piece of the ball most of the time. It was Pete, whose wife Carolyn taped some of the championship series games, watching Tion. He studies this game, and a difficult thing for the Cincinnati ball club, I think, Kurt Dick, is to be able to pick up Tion's pitches. He throws sidearms sometimes over the top three quarters, and you just lose a split second. And he had another 200 hit season, seven for him. He's chasing Ty Cobb's record. There's a bounding ball to Denny Doyle. Big hop to him. There's the first out of the first game. Run away. We, we may have in this series, and it's usually fitting that we do, the two most valuable players in their respective leagues. This is a heavy favorite to win the National League, Joe Morgan, and Fred Lynn, 